I, picked, I just received this from Amazon and I just wanted to share it with the people on YouTube as it's a pretty cool idea. Now, I just saw pictures of it so I couldn't get hands on how it looks and feels. It's a pretty cool item. Or the idea is pretty cool. Um, I'm opening it right now. micro USB cable and the stickers I'm not putting these on yet
see how long the cable is. Yeah, about two feet, a little over two feet. And it's a USB 2.0 cable. Now let's actually look at the device. Comes in a cassette tape uh, holder. Pretty cool. I like it looks like a standard cassette tape holder. These, these are further instructions. And this is the actual cassette tape. Pretty cool. Looks just like a cassette tape. It's gonna need the stickers, that's for sure. Standard size. Actually has some kind of uh, simulated tape there. Not tape. I don't know what that is. Let's see how much it weighs. It shouldn't weigh anything. Where I'm going to charge it, a micro USB, and that's the headphone jack. So, according to the instructions, the B side, which is the side that has the function buttons, it's supposed to be buttons here. I haven't decided on what sticker I'm going to put on here, so I'm going to leave it blank for now. But that's the B side, the side with the little hole there. This doesn't have a hole. This does. This is the LED. This is the on and off button. And you can't see it, but according to the instructions, um, I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to put songs on it by putting a USB cable on here, on there to charge it and to connect it to a computer. And when I wanna play and do other things, I'm going, according to the instructions, these are the touch keys, previous and then next song. So forward and backwards and volume controls up and down. So once I turn it on, it should play and I'll use the volume to go up and down and the touch keys to go from one song to the next one, or just let it play. So let's charge it up and see what happens. So I'm supposed to be able to just touch this here according to, like right here, and this should be uh, previous, next, Volume up, volume down. That's how you press them. I don't feel anything touchy here, so I'm assuming it's touch sensitive or pressure sensitive. Let's try it out. Let's charge it up. 
And according to the instructions, music does not play while charging. Just plugged it in, it's charging. Let me turn off the light. It's supposed to take from 30 minutes to one hour to fully charge. I have no idea how long it's gonna last. I'm gonna try to get a ballpark figure. I haven't seen anything on the instructions in regards to the amount of time. Uh, probably when I plug it into the computer, I'll be able to tell how much space is in here. So I'll let you know that. And I'll let you know how much of a, of a play time you get with it, uh, real world. So let's let it charge and we'll come back and try it out. As you can see, it's blue. So now it's totally charged. Now let's uh, plug it into the computer. So it's uh, eight gigs pretty much. Fat 32. It's always, uh, you know, when it's something's 10 gigs, it always comes nine point something. So I'm gonna say this is eight gigs, but seven gigs, 7.38 gigs of usable space. There is a file in here called test. They say in the instruction that that will be in there so let's drop some files in there so I copied about three songs copyright free music so I'll play them so I don't get a copyright inquiry or copyright uh, strike on my uh, video so let's try it out I made a mistake. I put in files that are uh, WAV file, WMA files, M4A files. It'll only play MP3 files. So I just copied some and I'm going to copy them over. The YouTube copyright free music. Let me get rid of these. It will not play these. So after this is done, we'll try it out. Let's see if we can get some music playing here. I don't hear anything coming out. All MP3s now. Oh, there it is. So the volume, where was the volume? Here? No. That's the volume. volume up is the volume down or you just press it you could tap it or pr just press it press it this will be the next and back
you don't even feel it, but you see how that works. So volume down, volume up, previous, I guess this is, I forget. One is forward and one is back. I think this is back and this is forward. Again, the instructions will tell you. Uh, they'll be following this video. Pretty cool. So if this is volume up, no, this is volume up. And this is, uh, this should be next and then previous. Previous, next, volume up, volume down. Pretty cool. No, they don't turn. I just tried to turn. I just tried to turn the things in the middle. No, they don't turn. Remember, you used to have to turn them to wind it up when the tape would get caught in the cassette. Pretty cool. I like it. Now, let me see how long it lasts, okay? Um, just continuously playing and then I'll come back to you. I got about eight hours of total play time. Eight hours. I played it until it finished. Eight hours. It sounds pretty good. I mean, with headphones, it would sound great too. With eight gigs, you could put thousands of songs on there. There shouldn't be any issue as long as they're MP3s. Uh, the quality sounds fine no issues i'm gonna charge it up again and just play a song i know that uh, i won't get any copyright issues and you can hear it for yourself but i did play it straight for about eight hours eight hours straight and it played um with no issues whatsoever let me charge it up again and play some music for you and you can hear it for yourself Charge it back up and I put some copyright free music. Um, or I should say, one is from one of my favorite podcasts, which is The Gizwiz. <laughs> song over you just press it once oh no actually skip should have played it over again start it from the beginning no okay it's not doing it next song this one's doing it I got eight hours of playtime on this. Eight hours. Eight hours. To start it up, you have to press this, hold it for a second, push it and hold it for a second. This light will come on and then you let it go. It takes about a second and a half of holding and then the whole thing goes on and it just plays automatically. Turn it off. Just press it and hold. And it turns off. Again, to turn it on, you gotta press it and hold. Let go. And it plays. Cool. Again, it's pretty as loud as it can go.
pretty cool. I bet if I had better speakers, it would sound louder and better. Doesn't sound too bad. I like the retro look, it's pretty cool. Any slight touch changes it. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. All right. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. MP3 player with shuffle play, 8GB portable hi-fi music player with powerful sound, retro cassette design from BTSMV, easy touch keys, DIY label stickers, clear case, nice gift, wide. 0712-2022. Cost, $29.99. Purchased on Amazon. About this item. Videotape. Meet Retro, Cassette Design MP3 Player, Go Back in Time with a Retro Vibe MP3 Music Player. Take a break from your smartphone. Create your own playlist with your favorite songs. And of course, our Cassette MP3 Player comes with an original transparent cassette tape case. Throwback 80s 90s analog design. Thumbs up. Smart touch buttons control, surface touch sensor buttons are applied to keep the original cassette design. Next, previous, rewind, fast forward, volume control, it does everything that a cassette player could do, but easier. The included label sticker lets you know their location. Plug in your headphones and enjoy your music. Headphones. Supreme sound quality experience or MP3 player's chip has the latest hi-fi sound DAC built-in that provides up to 48320 kbps audio resolution, sweet treble, accurate mid-range, deep bass, you name the feature. It supports most audio formats such as MP3, WMA standard, and UGG. Don't think twice about enjoying this high-quality made in Korea MP3 player at a fair price. Floppy disk. 8 plus hours of battery life and 2000 plus songs of non-stop music, you might be out on an adventure with no phone service, or working out for hours every day. That's why our cassette MP3 player comes in handy. Enjoy your music as long as you want with no worries of your phone going out of battery. There's plenty of space and time in this player to back your broad musical insight. Just plug in your speaker or earphones with aux cable and show off your jam. Smirking face. 8GB USB flash drive and design customization. Guess what? It even works as a flash drive for Windows and Mac OS. Keep your digital files in analog. Customize and enjoy your own cassette MP3 player design with our complimentary two label stickers and free sticker designs. You can also create your own track list. Hand write a note or a letter inside the case cover, bring out the creative you, and make it a personal gift. Product information. Product dimensions 2.52 x 4.02 x 0.35 inches. Item weight 1.4 ounces. Austin B08V8WC3ML. Item model number CMP3, TS04, TF8G, W1. Batteries 1 lithium polymer batteries required, included. 
celebrating the 60th anniversary of the first audio cassettes. 8-Beat loves retro and made cassette MP3 to commemorate. This is a portable MP3 music player with a design that perfectly embodies the appearance of a compact cassette. Enjoy music incarnated by a powerful DSP of 20 megawatts. Enjoy high-quality sound in retro style. Incomparable to other MP3 players. Classic design, it looks like a cassette tape, but works as an MP3 player. Cassette MP3 inherited the classic design of cassette tapes with details, even including a silicon deco to represent the tape. The four keys have touch sensor and easy to use. Powerful sound, our self-developed audio DSP outputs hi-fi sound MP3 music to a powerful 20 MW headphone DAC. This allows you to enjoy high-quality music through headphones and speakers without interruption. Incomparable. Features are MP3 player other features. Retro R Us. DIY label stickers, cassette MP3 comes with sets of label stickers with designs that reminiscent of 80s and 90s cassettes. Its B-side tells you where to locate the touch buttons. You can also handwrite the title your mixtape. Awesome gift, super cool retro cassette style conveys analog memories to all ages. Recommend this retro MP3 player to anyone looking for a break from digital and his or her smartphone. Previous page. BTS loves cassette MP3. Four reasons to choose cassette MP3. Craftsmanship. Elegant craftsmanship. A retro design that recalls the nostalgia memory of the old school. Audio. Great audio quality. Advanced audio DSP technology all made by 8-beat engineers. Quality. Meticulous quality check. Thorough quality check done by 8-beat. Great quality, made in Korea. Gift. Great gift for anyone. Customizable label cards with a nice package makes it a special gift for a special someone. Playtime and storage. 9H. Up to 9H. Playtime. 8 GB. Up to 2000 plus. Song storage. DIY design your product. Customize your players. Capital O. Design stickers. Download. New design. Great gift. All. Use album jacket. To write a letter. Clear case to complete. The classic design. Easy to use. For all ages. Smart touch sensor buttons. Capital B. Locate the buttons. With B-side label. RWW few. Track change. Lock unlock. Buttons. What's in the box? Micro B USB cable. 2 plus a DIY label stickers. Owner's manual. Cassette MP3. What's included? Owner's guide. Micro USB data charging cable. Label stickers. Case. Power on off. Hold the button. Play pause. Click. Shuffle on off. Double click. Touch on off. Triple click. Touch keys identification. Cassette MP3. Charging and transferring files to the player. Connect cassette MP3 to your computer to transfer MP3 audio files and other files, and to charge. The battery. Disconnect cassette MP3 when you're done. Important. To transfer audio files to your cassette MP3, use the USB 2.0 data cable that came with cassette MP3. Charge the player before using it for the first time and when you haven't used it for a long time. You can charge cassette MP3 battery in two ways. Comma, connect cassette MP3 to your computer, use your USB power adapter, available separately. When you connect cassette MP3 to a high-power USB 2.0 port, charging speed at 0.5A, on your computer, full charging time will be about 30 minutes. When the battery is charging, the status light on cassette MP3 blinks red. When the battery is fully charged, the status light turns blue. Period. Product specifications. Input rating, DC 5.0 V100 2000 mAh battery power, 180 mAh DC 3.7 V. File compatibility, MPEG 1, 2, 2, 5, layer 3.
8 kbps 320 kbps 8 khz 48 kilohertz play time up to 5 hours headphone jack aux 3.5 millimeters the red button should be on the right side when placing the b-side label sticker please fully charge the product before using it for the first time when fully cridged and connected to power the product's status light will blink blue it could take from 1 to 2 hours to fully charge depending on Tihi charging environment. There may be an MP3 music file stored inside the product for a performance test purpose. If so, please feel free to delete the file. If you turn on the product when there is no music file stored inside, its status lights will blink blue and red and automatically turn off. When music is paused, all the touch buttons stop working until you press the play button again. When shuffle mode is on, the status light will blink blue. When shuffle mode is off, the status light will blink red. When battery is low. When battery is below 30%, the red and blue status lights will together blink twice in between its status indication. When battery is below 10%, the red and blue status lights will start blinking at the same time and the product will turn off after one minute. FCC Compliance Statement this device complies with Part 15 of the FCC rules. Operation is subject to the following two conditions. 1. This device may not cause harmful interference, and 2. This device must accept any interference received, including interference that may cause undesired operation. See instructions if interference to radio or television reception is suspected. Korea Class B Statement B. RRBBTB beat negative 1 VX. European Community. This device complies with the LVD and EMC directives. Stereo cassette MP3 player. Made in Korea. How to use one? Dimensions of the two types of templates. Diameter 20 mm circle. 39 mm. 88 mm. 62 mm. 2. Recommended to print on sticker paper. 3. Custom scale of page sizing and handling should be 100% on window. 4. As shown in the picture below, the side with the red push button on the left is the A side. This is important as the touch sensor keys are placed only in the B side. Samples of the label stickers. License. No part of this stickers must be reproduced photocopied, stored on a retrieval system, or transmitted for commercial purpose without the express written consent of 8-Beat Company, Limited. Copyright Copyright Sign. 8-Beat Company, Limited.